15, free three, man. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy and his older brother, OG3. Now, OG3 allegedly was arrested in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or maybe even just Louisiana. Some of the details about this are murky, but man, today we're going to put on the conspiracy hat and we're going to delve deep into what might be going on here. Because according to several sources in an online video that's going viral, man, OG3 got locked up. Now, we've all been familiar with NBA young boys running with the law. We've been familiar with NBA's current incarceration situation, right? But it seemed like OG3 has always been like a uh, support for NBA Youngboy. He's always been the the more mature person, the person who gave him an insight or tried to rectify the situation as it progressed to where it is now. We never thought we'd be hearing about OG3 getting locked up or falling into the same type of trap himself. But man, like I said, right now the details are murky, but it doesn't look good to say the least. Because man, it looked like OG3 was in a tough spot when he got arrested. Now, we're going to look at that video clip in its entirety, and we're going to delve deep into what we know so far. But before we do, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this OG3 situation. Mm -mm -mm. Now, it looks bad, man, because OG3 was allegedly arrested in Louisiana. And to be real... Out of everybody in NBA Young Boys camp, he seemed like the more mature person and the one person who would stay out of trouble and keep his nose clean. I know that's a difficult thing to do in the hip hop game, but man, he seemed like he could be the one in the camp to do it and keep things held down until NBA Young Boy came home. Well, news broke just a little while ago, and I want to give credit where credit is due. I believe it was DJ Academics or it was either DJ Vlad who originally released a clip of OG3 allegedly being arrested in Louisiana. And when I say he was in a tough spot, I mean he was crawling from up under a house. The police had to go underneath the house to get him. Now, I don't know what type of neighborhood this was. It looks like it was a wooded area, but it doesn't look good. So, man, let's look at that clip. Dang, free three, man. <laughs> Okay, I played that a couple of times so you got the idea of what was going down. Now, in that video, what we see is a canine unit and a police officer and they're standing in front of a home that looks like it has an elevated like uh you know structure sometimes in the south particularly there's these houses that have these raised you know they're elevated and you have to take a stairs to get to them and there's room underneath the house to actually go up under the house and it looks like they're taking them from up under there you know what i mean i don't understand that bill because you know where i'm from man that just wouldn't even it wouldn't even work because we got different type of natural disasters where, man, that, that thing's coming down. You feel me? Especially in the worst case scenario. Now, OG3, if that is him, it, take, it makes you wonder, man, how in the world did he get into that position? Why in the world were the police called? What in the world is going on? And to be real, nobody at this point has the answers. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right. Okay, now with the details not being out here, man, you hate to speculate because you hate to dirt, throw dirt on somebody's name. You would hate to make any type of accusations that aren't clear. But obviously, if that was OG3 hiding underneath that house, there was definitely something he was trying to get away from. 
Now, what he was trying to get away from could have been the police themselves. This just could have been a regular, you know, call to a house where somebody was, you know, a noise complaint or anything like that, even though that's highly unlikely because, man, a noise complaint, you would just turn the noise down unless there was something else you were trying to hide in the house. You, you, if it's in Louisiana, I'm pretty sure they're not as lenient with other rules as other states and especially when it comes to certain things. You know what I mean? If you get my drift. Some states, it's certain things are legal. Other states, they're not. It could have been a situation like that. It could have been a whole bunch of different situations. But what we do know is OG3 has always been the staple as far as that camp is concerned. And by taking on the role as like CEO and as a person who was out there as the voice, like you see them talking to DJ Vlad and stuff like that. It just seems odd and out of character that he is in this position, man. I would say, man, OG3 would be the last out of that whole crew, out of 4K Trey, NBA, all them cats, man, that would be in this position. You know what I mean? But it looks like we are here today, and that's where we got it. Now, at this time, there are no details on this. Now, that's wild because usually even the Baton Rouge news sources are pretty quick at anything that has to do with NBA Youngboy or anything affiliated with Youngboy to get the, no to get the news out there. So this tells me, this might not be true. Or if it's not or if it is true, man, it's something so wild that they're still trying to book him and all that. Now if you look at the video though, and I'm gonna play the clip one more time. Dang, free three, man. Dang, free three. Dang, free three, man. After looking at the footage again, you can clearly see it's nighttime. So either this happened last night or really, really early this morning. And the rumor that's circulating on social media is he was locked up by the feds. So I don't know what in the world he would be into that would have him getting locked up with the feds, but with rappers, rap clicks, rappers camps, you never know, man. So as the details come out about all this stuff, man, I'm going to be tuned in and I'm going to make sure that we get the details and bring it to you as, as they come out, man. That's the best way to put it. Because that right now, I'm going to keep it real. There is nothing known about the situation, which, man, that makes it even worse, man. Because if it's the feds, they probably already been looking at them. They got their whole idea what they're going to do. And they just getting everything together for the press release or whatever they release to the media. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that was OG3 underneath that crib? Or do you think this is just some type of media hype and something that really didn't happen? I mean, the sources that I quoted earlier, man, they're really good about getting their ducks in a row and putting out good information. So, you know, it's probably legit. But what do you think that the idea of this or what do you think was behind all this to begin with? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell, so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content, and we out of here. Peace.